Hi people and hello my chili con carnage crew, it's the man who produces iron for my eyes and I'm doing a 5 minute review on High Desert Palm's newest album, Palm Reader. There is something just so quaint about this album's artwork. It might just pull the listener into thinking that they might be walking into this big band rat pack playing new digestible dinner music to gently clap three times in between, of course, a few songs. But instead what lies beneath is the equivalent of the elusive cryptoid, the Loch Ness Monster. And if his measure in weight was comparable to an audio wavelength, it would mirror High Desert Palm. Their guitar riffs don't just stroll out of your speakers, but rather they split the atoms in the air to play their tunes as they lay as thick as a warm blanket and comfort me as much as well. What do we have here? Stoner metal, and there's no fucking around. It goes straight for the jugular in the tone on offer, and of course it is no surprise to see that this is another Magnetic Eye Records band to emerge with quite some big sonic ambitions. It's hard not to have your feet swept away by the undercurrent of thick bass bastardry, or the assault on the drum kit that feels like it has sprung to life and just walked down the street. Admittedly, my first playthrough of this album was not as good as I had hoped, so I delayed doing this review, and I'm glad I did, because now I have come back to revisit this record, and it was with higher spirits and with much joy. In fact, it's with enough joy that you could say it's a good thing this camera is only from the top half up on my body. What is it, son? I don't know, sir, but it looks like a giant dick. Ha <laughs> ha! Dangly part. There weren't really any tracks that I felt were skippable during the record's 43 minute runtime, and for me, some of the highlights had to be Head Honcho, which sees the band pull out all the stops for a near 10 minute performance that is enhanced by the elements of prog rock meets psychedelic stone and metal, and just keeps me entranced for the song's runtime. Another killer tunes, of course, were Ancient Aliens, which is a powerful blasting track that does great to serve as the opener, and Death Perception featuring Emma Nasland. From the band Galpa. I hope I pronounced that right. But what really makes this band go into the next level is the closer track Solar Rain. Once again, another 10 minute song that builds to a fantastic crux using their slow riffs with phaser effects pedals to lull you into a false sense of chill before throwing you head first down the throes of big meaty hooks and before long a face melting guitar solo accompanied by some epic and crashing drumming that Bonham himself would have loved to have heard. Well. We're waiting. This closing track is worth the price of admission and is easily the best song on the record. And that's quite tough considering what else is on offer here. Overall, I would give this album a score of 9 million chilies on the spicy scale, with my favourite songs being. Head Honcho, Solar Rain, and Ancient Alien Artifacts. Quite simply, this is an album that you must play if you love that stoner metal shit like I do. You would be remiss if you skipped these guys, because they will take you higher than that bong that you are willing to reach for. Play this album, punch out a cone, and thank me later. If you've enjoyed this content, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to us, and stay notified for future music-related content, because it keeps our manager happy at the end of the day. We are also on Discord, Instagram, Facebook, and all those other social platforms if you want to check us out. As always, people, you have a great day, and stay spicy.